Hey everybody, Chris, back from Chef Wannabe's Life. Today we're doing oh, my first holiday haul from the Dollar Tree. So if you'd like to see what I picked up and what you should run for, keep on watching. All right, hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome or welcome back. I'm so glad to have you. Please don't forget to give me a like and hit that subscribe button if you are very excited for the holidays. So, okay, I'm going to show you these things first because they, I picked these up, I want to say way back the 1st of September I saw them and I was like, oh, heck yeah. I'm not going to risk not getting these. I think my light keeps going in and out. Let's see if this is helpful. I think I got these way back in September, the for maybe the first part of September. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm picking those up. So first was the candy cane wreath forms. They're not huge, but still nice and... I will find something fabulous to do with those. Next is the snowmen. And I have seen so many different ways to do these. So those were clear back, like I said, in like the 1st of September I found those. Everything else has been on maybe two or three trips in the last month or so. So let's just get right in here. Let's try to get right in here. All right. I think I picked up all of these that were in this collection because actually I needed three and I hear that they usually always do things in fours, but I only saw three. So we have these ornaments. We have a Paw Patrol, Dollar Tree, you got it going on girl. We have LOL Surprise, and we have Spongebob. Aren't those cute? I mean, this is like, obviously, Nickelodeon. Oh, they're all Nick put out by Nickelodeon. But what great, great little things for Christmas. All right, the next thing is this glittery ribbon. Um, it's nine feet, 2.5 inches wide, and I believe it's wired. Survey says, yes, it's wired. So that will, because I, is it coming off kind of gold on camera? Because I do a Grinch theme in my house, that is going to be fantastic. I also picked up, did I just pick up two of these, two of these? Ask me why I picked these up. Because I just wanted to. These little pieces of board, they're calling them 8-inch chunky slat. Well, hello, chunky, that's why I picked them up. I'll use those, I'm sure, in something. And then, if you know how I feel about black and white buffalo, check. I don't know where these are going, definitely somewhere in my kitchen, but you know what would be really cute? One of these could go around Sally and Paul. Sally and Paul are my salt and pepper grinders, and it would be so cute to put one of these around each one for Christmas. So yeah, adorbs. I used to put a Christmas tree as my centerpiece on my table, just a small one. And I thought, oh, that would be really cute. But now I have my tear tray. And y'all know that ain't going anywhere soon. All right, so there's one bag. Now, I think a thing or an item, a thing, an item or two in here are a repurchase. But I still wanted to show you. This, I believe, is a repurchase. It's this burlap ribbon with snowflakes 
I hope you guys are wearing a mask because I have a sore throat. It's allergies. But you know, and then, oh, I'm so excited about this, you guys. This will go on my little tree here. And it is this little pom-pom trim. I mean, let me undo it here. Let's see what we're really looking at up in here. I mean, I mean. That's adorable. I'm even twice as excited now. And then why I picked up this C because it can stand for Chris, Chris, or Chef Wannabe. And I thought my tree in here needed a C on it. Okay. Next. Oh, I bought this at a little craft show because I do my bathroom in all dogs, mostly pug dogs, but dogs, my dogs. And there's a Christmas tree in my bathroom for you guys. Let me know in the comments if that's completely over the top. I mean, have I taken it completely too far when I have a Christmas tree in my bathroom? It's not huge, but it's not like the tiniest tree you've ever seen. Anyway, I needed some more dog ornaments on it and I have all of my past and present dogs wrapped up on that tree so I just needed something with dogs and then I'm not sure oh yeah this is random that just got put in there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it Mary and Bright Mary and Bright I'm not sure where she's going to go either, but I I'm going to figure out something cool to do with her. Oh, I found these in a drawer. And I thought, well, I'll show them to you. They're little snowflake lights. Anyway, you see, you see what I do? You see what I do? Okay, and here we go. You guys, I bought my first gift bags. Now, gift bags are kind of like a problem for me. I mean, and here's, here's the, the real problem of all of this. Okay, a little story. I don't even like to wrap in gift bags because I love wrapping gifts so much. And I used to love watching my mom, who back in the day in a store called Miller and Payne in Lincoln, Nebraska, at Christmas time, she wrapped gifts, and that was an extremely, extremely high-end store. So she wrapped these beautiful packages. And then growing up, when we were kid, you know, when we were kids, she would, after we would all go to bed, that was kind of like her fun, relaxing thing. Was she would sit and wrap gifts. You guys, I'm talking. She even handmade the bows for the top, like the whole bunch of loopy bows. They were exquisite, and I must have inherited that either through watching her or something because I love it, and so I don't like to wrap in gift bags because I don't get to do all the pretty stuff on them. So, however, my problem, the problem, yeah, we'll get to the problem of that is I love buying them, and I have a lot of them, and if my sister Peg is watching this, she will attest to the amount of bags that I have and many because of her. And that's right, I called you out, girl. But look at this, okay? Can, can we look at this bag for a second? The red tree, I don't even know. The sides are like, oh, the sides are the same. And then this gorgeousness that says Merry Christmas. For the record, I'm not a happy holiday girl. I'm a Merry Christmas girl. And then, should we talk about these? I'm going to have to hold these really close up. These little LED lights that are the red truck. Let's see if I can get them open. Look at them. Oh, Dollar Tree. Oh, Dollar Tree. Oof. Next is some candy I forgot to put in my grandkids' Halloween 
ox. And then, oh yeah, these I think are going to be for my tree. Now, initially I was, what in the what? Oh, here we go. Um, and actually I think they might still, but I love these. I love these little ornaments that you can put a picture in. And I like there's so there's a penguin. There is the gingerbread man. There is, did I have to get two pingies? I had to get two pingies. Another pingy. And then we have Santa. So one for each of my grandkids on my tree. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do, decision made. Then I picked up two of the candy cane. Is that candy canes? So that doesn't feel like a candy cane. Are they supposed to be crisscrossed? Oh yeah, okay, so I couldn't see the whole thing. I'll pull this out for you to see the little candy cane lights. You guys, I love these LED lights and even though, how many are on here? It's a three foot, it's a three foot um, strand, but I love them. I love them. I never have them go out. I've never had them go out on me, ever. And I, this was so random. Okay, so you guys may or may not have seen. Oh, yeah, and I have this. Oh, you my Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. On my console table underneath my television that, that's, like, on the wall, I do this whole collection of bottle brushes. And I think they're adorable. And I found this random, like, peachy orange one at the worst Dollar Tree I've ever been to. And I think I have, I will post that video up here, up here, because, yeah, I forgot about that video till just now. And I just found this randomly between a piece of bubble gum and a half drink juice. So I nabbed it. So let me tell you, some of my bottle brushes I have paid a ridiculous amount of money for. And then, peace. My buffalo check peace. So, I think that is it for this haul. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If there's anything you see, go get it. Let me know if you see these in any other colors, please. Because... I'm going to need to find them. Don't tell anybody about my gift bag addiction. Like, just don't. Okay? Okay. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you for joining me for this Christmas haul. I hope that you enjoy a beautiful weekend. It's Halloween. Ooh, to anyone who celebrates. Halloween happens to be me and my husband's anniversary. I hope to see you then, and until we meet again, do not forget to eat good food. Bye, everybody.